Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm glad you decided to join me in part three. Have I not annoyed you enough yet? Alright, so we're gonna go check out what those abbreviations mean. I'm gonna see if I can talk to her again real quick. Who could do such a thing? You know, just in case. Since I was here. And let's go back to Scotland Yard. To check out his notebook. Somebody's notebook, I don't know. Maybe that kid's father is still alive. Hmm. This is gonna be really interesting if they if you can have more than one conclusion. I'm really gonna like that. Uh here. These are the suspect's belongings. I wonder if these are connected. So let's look up CPR. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Oh, is that it? Okay, missing papers. Of course. <laughs> Looking for papers. Bring attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in the pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. I was looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin. It explains his presence at the scene of the murder. I think that's true. Hmm. Let's try that. Valuable bond certificates were kept inside the Slaughter box. Ooh. What do we have here? Could have been caught stealing the bond. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. That's innocence. It's a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of the murderer either by physical or psychological description. That's kind of true, but at the same time, if he is a murderer. Uh, I hope I'm just doesn't feel like a murderer to me but then again he's not a real person so <laughs> is there anything else we can do oh there's something else out here <laughs> if I can switch back <laughs> let's try that ooh Red color highlights logical conflicts between deductions. They can be resolved by switching. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oops. I have to go for his innocence. So that means we are on the right path. Somewhere. All right. Here, talk to the kid again, though. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I... I was trying to find some information about my father. Sharp knife, father's jacket, tobacco pouch, bond certificate. I assume you had another purpose. To retrieve the bond certificates, am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. Well, I will see you soon, young man. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. 
<laughs> done nothing wrong. You broke in to a <laughs> murder scene. That's freaking hilarious. I've done nothing wrong. Okay, that's right. We need to go talk to somebody on Baker Street. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Hmm. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy! Just gotta look where the rum and the red lights are. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Maybe yeah, I should have done that first. maybe the wife had something to do with it. I don't think she killed him. I think she had something to do with it. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Great tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? Mm, breathtaking. Who would be writing a letter like that? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to question the logic right now. These are the suspect's belongings. Ah, boots. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. All right. So the first place oh, I want to go to is to check the boots. 
since the size 8 ones were barely bigger. Or, yeah, or, or I mean, barely smaller. My bad. These had to be it. Come on. These boots match the footprints exactly. So she's lying. Unless he was coming around at night. Yep, that's perfect. Let's talk to her real quick. Just see what she has to say about all this. Who could do such a thing? Oh, whatever. More in that carriage than he is in anything else. Uh, probably right here. Yep. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition all seven reagents should be used. Second condition orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Uh, okay. Let's... Oh wait, no, <sighs> dang it, I think I already messed up, let's reset this. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. So let's try this blue. Yeah, I'll do. Or no, wait. <laughs> Let me try this again. I want to try the green. Blue. Orange. White. Blue. Orange, white. No, something what? isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning. Ah. I'm doing this right. Hmm. 
No way. Done. <laughs> now I can proceed further. Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. That was all luck. I'll admit it. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? I did, but I beg you to reconsider. I hmm. remember our vows. I have done nothing dishonorable for which you remember our vows. Hmm. Interesting. A new suspect. But this one refuses to talk. This case is more interesting than I first imagined. Remember our our vows. Huh. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Where's the other suspect at? Huh. Well, I guess I'll just talk to him real quick. Shapes of noses, huh? How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? Yes, it was you. Uh, no, there's nothing else here for me. doing here I've done nothing wrong please escort this suspect for interrogation allow me to introduce myself my name is Sherlock Holmes I would like to ask you a few questions I've already told the police that I've nothing to say and you're not even part of the police precisely and considering your situation it might be wise to speak with someone who is shall we say rather more neutral you are a suspect in a murder case i know inspector lestrade told me it's ridiculous could you at least tell me who you are and exactly what happened that you should be brought here my name is liam hurtley that i can tell you but you're not getting any more than that well we shall see time to do a profile Let's see. Oh, Scar. Ah, uh, he's the gardener. Oh, wait, we already established that. Jeez. <laughs> I feel dumb. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof. How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. It's technically right. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? 
I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Hmm. Ah, it was wrong. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? What? That's all they do, though? Uh... The gardener or the tobacco pouch is the only thing I can think of. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? Letter... I did as you asked, and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible! A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Maybe him and the wife were having a little get together. Where would would the would they be around here? Uh, that's a good question. Where would these tools be? Huh. That's what I'm looking for, right? What's he trying to hide? According to Hurtley's letter and by his own word, he hid something at the spot where the garden tools are kept. He is a gardener at Woodman. Okay. Don't want to talk to her yet until I find the tools. Locked. Locked. Ooh, maybe I do need to talk to her. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. 
Thank oh. you, madam. She didn't seem to care or mind. Let's see what could be hidden here. Is that it? Let us see what is in this box. Uh Oh, I think I like it. Huh. This is pretty interesting. Yay. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting. You my dear, you have been so good to me all the time that I have known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good had come from them. I fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is his divine will, and thus my husband is a cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell, but bruises fate, and you must not worry for me. Jeez. That's a pretty big motive for killing. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? What? Madam, I am aware of your uh, affinity I wish I could skip with this. Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after... what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Jeez. Oh, here. Her is present at the Women's League on the night of the murder is explained by his affection toward Drew's Carey and the fact that he worked there as the gardener. Huh. Oops. Great, I can hear her in the background. <laughs> to this though. It has been confirmed that Liam Hartley was flirting with Peter Kay and fell in love with her, but it didn't go beyond the affection. 
They never really loved you to carry so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked murder. Let's try that. Ah. Dr. Carey gives him a motive for killing Peter. Her at least presence at Women's Lees on the night of the murder is explained by his affection for the fact that he worked there as a gardener. Could be either or. Let's see if. Okay, so that. Oops. Could have just been flirting. Cause he doesn't, yeah, the, the feat of strength doesn't match up. And there's the fact that, well, we gotta find out if Peter Carey, a non-smoker. He had given up smoking a long time ago, but he might still have that kept the pouch. Although his wife had not seen it before, she was forbidden to set foot into the cabin. See, that's what's telling me that it can't be either of them unless they're, I think we're gonna find somebody with a pipe and that's gonna tell us a lot. But this would be the end of this episode, everyone, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day. See ya.